Orlando Magic fans, the day is here. Trade deadline day. And so far, we have done exactly what us fans thought we would do. Absolutely nothing. <laughs> but there's still plenty of hours to go to the trade deadline. Even though today's the day. It's past midnight. And it is time to keep hope alive, guys. Time to still believe that this team is going to make the playoffs. And we're going to get great experience for our all-star, Paulo Bancaro. So I want to talk about what I think is the best possible trade for us. Um, I'm going to make a couple videos here. Bring out some names we haven't been talking about. We all know about, you know, the Malcolm Brogdon trying to go crazy for DeJounte Murray. You know, so a lot of people saying Anthony Simons. So who do I think is the best pickup for us and how can we attain this player? This one is a common name that's been brought up as well. So this is not going to be the surprise video, but Tyus Jones. Tyus Jones, I think, is the perfect fit for our Orlando Magic this year. His contract is a one-year contract. It is set to be done at the end of the season, sitting at $14 million. That is easily uh, for us to match as we have someone in Gary Harris who's making $13 million. So that fits very easily there. What is our biggest need for the Orlando Magic? One, a point guard, a healthy point guard that can have the offense continue to flow. A healthy point guard, well, yes, Markel has looked good. As we all know, he has been in the past few games. But one thing about Markel is he just cannot stay healthy. So it would be great to have Tyus Jones come in and be able to solidify a starting point guard spot on our team to help our young core uh, just continue to make the offense roll. And playmaking. Playmaking has been a big need for us. We don't have a point guard who's there to set up the offense and get us assists. And it shows late, you know, in, in ball games, we have turnovers, a lot of turnovers as well. So somebody who is really good on turnovers. And three-point shooting has been our extreme weakness as well on this Orlando Magic team. So why do I think Tyus Jones is a big fit for our roster? He fits every single one of those needs. Tyus Jones... Um, Averaging 12 points a game, six assists a game. So he's not a ball hog. He's not going to get in the way of the offense. He knows that he has to cater to Franz Wagner and Paula Bancaro. But he's also somebody that can get a bucket. Uh, we have been struggling to find who's going to be our third consistent scorer on this team. Um, we saw with Miami Heat the other night when Franz had a slow start. There was nobody else to really help on the offensive end. Tyus Jones... Averaging 12 points a game on the horrible Washington Wizards. You would only think that that would consistently stay there or probably tick up a little bit to 15 points a game. And that's exactly what we need to, you know, go with Paula Bancaro's 20 points and Franz Wagner's 20 points. He's also averaging six assists this season. And that's on a horrible team where <laughs> Jordan Poole is taking horrible shots uh, today What he... He had zero points and fouled out. Um, and he was, I think, 0 for 7. Um, so that's what he's dealing with there. But, you know, with Paulo Bancaro getting great shots, him uh, being able to set up the backdoor cuts for Franz Wagner, you know, maybe it actually helps our post play with Wendell Carter Jr. and others. When we have a, a point guard who actually knows how to set up an offense, you would think that six assists would stay consistent as well. Three-point shooting-wise, he is shooting 40% from three this season. So he is a sniper, okay? So he has the playmaking ability. He has three-point percentage. And he has playmaking ability as well. And talking about turnovers, he has the best assist-to-turnover ratio in the NBA. Top five. He was number one for a long time, but I'll take top five. So we know the guy is not going to turn the ball over. We know he can shoot threes, which fills that weakness. We know he can, you know, he can run an offense, as six assists a game too. You know, we know he can set up teammates, and it's on a one-year deal. So, if he doesn't mesh with the team, we don't have to worry about him next year as well. So, Tyus Jones, I think, is an amazing fit for our Orlando Magic this season, potentially going forward. Let's say if he 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 does great with us and and does great with our young 
you know, nucleus we have here. Maybe we re-sign him, keep him here. You know, we'll have the leg up if he fits with the team and makes a playoff push with us. Um, I don't believe he he's really – he's never been in the playoffs, really. I mean, yes, with Memphis behind job, but as a starting point guard, no. Washington Wizards has one of the worst records in the NBA. And why lose him for nothing? People are saying they're holding out for a first-round pick. But today is a trade deadline day. Would you rather sit at 10 wins and keep them and get nothing? Or maybe, you know, be able to wheel and deal and negotiate? Now, of course, we don't want Orlando Magic to overpay for any player. But for this player in particular, you know, I don't think we would overpay at all. So, Tyus Jones making 14 mil a year. I would match that up with the Gary Harris contract. Now, yes, I like Gary Harris myself. It would either have to be Gary Harris or Markel Fultz. Gary Harris, you know, I think he he's a solid player for this group as well. He's a solid bench player. He's a good defender. Um, when he's on, he can shoot. But he's streaky and he's injury prone. So I'm cool with parting ways with him. I know a lot of people are clamoring to keep Markel now. So I think it would be cool to keep Markel as well. Maybe, you know, you know, when he's in when he gets injured again, if he gets injured again, of course, we're gonna knock on wood and pray. Um, you know, Tyus Jones will take over those starter minutes. But, you know, when he's healthy, you know, you know have you now have an option of playing who's hot, Markel or Tyus. Either one of them is gonna be either great in the starting unit or great in the second unit. Thinking of Markel with the second unit is great as well. Um him and Cole Anthony. Cole Anthony can now, you know, not have to really focus on trying to be a facilitator as well. I think that's helped, that's hurt his momentum where I think early in the season he was a potential to be sixth man of the year. Of course, he got hurt. He tweaked his ankle once or twice. But, you know, with our playmaking ability being down and Markel being hurt, he was forced to play more like a starting minutes off the bench. And it seems like he had to worry about more things than just coming off the bench and being a microwave scorer. So with Markel Fultz being the second unit point guard, he could just go back to being, yo, know, I'm off the bench energy and, uh, and and buckets. And I think it just can help the team in a whole where we now have an efficient three-point shooter who can run the offense and also is known for staying healthy um, in the starting unit. And then it helps our second unit with Markel being able to, to mix and match with that unit and if he gets hurt, you know, we always have A.B. off the bench. So to me, this is a perfect scenario, the perfect trade target for this transfer deadline day. Let me know what you think. Compensation. Gary Harris, and I don't know if you guys know this, but between 2025 and 2028, we have two, four, six, eight, eight second round picks. Yes, we have a multitude of first round picks, but of course we want to hold on to those or use them for a bigger deal. So... Um, I just think, hey, the Wizards, you're about to lose Tyus Jones for free. We're giving you back an expiring contract, so you're really not losing that. You're still going to have money off the books for you next year. And maybe we throw them two second-round picks. For some reason, our Orlando Magic do not like using second-round picks. I get frustrated every year looking at the draft saying, like, why, why are we trading out of the second round? So with us accumulating eight in the next couple years, um, a lot of these years, 2025, we have two. 2026, we have two. 2027, we have two. 2028, we have two. And we barely use them. So why not utilize them to make our team better? I think us striking for Tyus Jones is going to strengthen our position and to get into playoffs. Hopefully, we can get that sixth seed with avoiding the play in. It's going to get our young core much needed experience in the playoffs. It's going to get Paulo playoff experience after becoming an all-star which is perfect for us we Paulo evolving into an all-star and getting playoff minutes you know get Franz in the playoff picture as well get Suggs in the playoff picture as well give our young nucleus uh, a, a real playoff shot and hey we seen earlier in the season when we're healthy we could run with the best of them we, we beat the Nuggets twice we just beat the Timberwolves last week uh, we what had a nine game winning streak I went to one of the games, so it was dope to say I was part of that winning streak. Um, getting Tyus Jones, I think, solidifies that starting lineup where 
Suggs doesn't really have to worry about playmaking anymore either. Just be your lockdown defensive specialist. And hopefully his three-point stroke and his shooting stroke continues to grow and evolve as well. So this is the perfect pick for me for the trade deadline. Tyus Jones, give out one of these multiple years of second-round picks. Let's say we'll give them a 2025 and a 2026 second-round pick, which is pretty close to a low-end first-round pick. If they want to think it that way, that's how I would sell it. Gary Harris, two second-round picks in exchange for Tyus Jones to make us Orlando Magic fans happy and feel like the Magic are in win-now mode instead of sitting still per usual. Thank you for watching the video. If you like it, please uh, like, comment, subscribe. My name is Marvin Allen Cox, also known as the Max Sports Attack. Let me know what your thoughts are on this trade. I'm the Max Sports Attack, and I'm out.